up everybody this is Airfree Harry and now I'm going to demonstrate how I use the new DIY pump for pumping air cream. So I just recently had a workshop where we built this dome here and the dome is a double a double concrete dome. So what we've done is we've mounted an air form, inflated it, we sprayed it with cement then we put a second air form over that, inflated the second air form, and sprayed that with cement. So now we have two concrete shells, and we have a six inch cavity in the middle we're filling with acrete. So that's the stage we're up to now, where we've got a hose going up to the top of the dome, and we're filling it with acrete. So I'm going to demonstrate how I make acrete, put it into the DIY pump and then pump it. So the first thing we do is we get our Aircrete Harry foam generator from aircreteharry.com. Most important thing you need is your foam generator. So once you have your foam generator, we're going to mix up a batch of Aircrete. So we start with six gallons of water. After we got our water in, we're going to mix our cement. Oh, two other ingredients. We have the air entrainment, which I will be offering this on aircreteharry.com. And this is part of getting the aircrete the right consistency uh, using the air entrainment. Now, most important is the Aircrete Harry thickening agent. We use this to thicken our Aircrete, which allows us to pour a lot taller without the foam bubbles collapsing. So we put a few ounces of the thickening agent into the water, and this is the key for perfect you put the thickening agent. So once we have our two ingredients, we'll mix it up in the water. Then we add our cement. So now, word of caution, you must make sure you have no chunks of cement or anything going inside your pumping container because if it clogs the nozzle going out, the pressure could build up and you could pop your container and possibly get hurt. My container has, you can see it bulging because I over pressurized it on my very first pump. I got carried away. You only need about 5 to 10 psi of air pressure to pump. So the other thing you want to do, if you look here, can you see this? If you look here, this is where we put our air in. We want to remove this tube to allow the air to escape as we're filling our funnel with air creep. So as we fill this, air wants to escape. You will not be able to put aircrete in your container if you do not have this open. So make sure that's open and then you can easily fill with aircrete.
after I fill it, I rinse everything. Then I connect the hose. I've shortened the hose. The first video, DIY air creep pump, I had two of these hoses connected, making 50 feet. Now it's only a 25 feet. connect my air valve make sure it's pushed in all the way and now the air pressure from the compressor and make sure your valve is off when you're attaching your air and you can see the air pressure it shows about 40 psi, but that'll drop once I turn it on. There, I dropped it down to 10 psi. Again, you want to make sure you have nothing that might clog your line. So as long as you just have air creep, everything should be fine. So the next step is going to be to lie this container down and pump it up. Again, I have the hose going into a hole I have the top. So I'm going to lay this tank down. Now I'm going to turn on the air pressure. And I can hear the air entering. So you just need to give it time to build pressure up. And it's going to push the air creep out. The air creep bubbles won't be affected. It's going to be a pressure, not touching it, but just, you know, air pressure pushing the air creep. If you have to pour somewhere tall, second floor, you won't have to carry buckets or anything up. Really simple system. And I can hear, I can hear the air creep bubbling inside the tank. And you can see the hose wiggling just now. It's already empty. I'm just trying to get the last bit. Just see how it comes out. I suggest for the first time you do a test into another barrel so that you can see how much pressure you need to get the air creep flowing through the tube. Your compressor may be different than mine. I might have a completely different setup so you might have to change your PSI to make yours work. Most important is you do not over pressurize it. You don't need 50 PSI because if you get a clock for whatever reason you got a chunk of cement or something you risk blowing the barrel so you want to be very careful not to blow it otherwise that's it you see the double air form system and we're filling that cavity so we'll be here we got about 12 more barrels
barrels to mix up to fill the entire uh, dome up with aircrete in between the two concrete shells. Anyway, that's it for now. Aircrete Harry signing out. Peace. I love you all and I'll catch you later.